What's up guys, I'm Joe. Today I'm talking about the new Converge album, The Dusk in Us. So Converge are back with their ninth studio album, their metalcore band from Massachusetts. And they're just one of those bands that have always put out very solid releases, in my opinion. They've had quite a few very compelling and very influential, you know, fairly recent releases, such as Jane Doe, which came out in 2001. I feel like metalcore as a genre has become a bit more synonymous with what became more melodic metalcore. Some are more radio-friendly, I guess. Think of bands such as Skillswitch Engage or Trivium, you know, that have that kind of punky or that, you know, heavier metal feel to it, but also with some more catchy hooks, some more sing-along type stuff. Converge, on the other hand, is a band that is stuck strictly towards that metalcore genre, you know, as far as incorporating influences of hardcore punk and more extreme metal into their sound. And this album, The Dusk and Us, I gotta say, right out of the gate, probably one of my favorite metal records of this year, certainly one of the most compelling, one of the most energetic, and certainly one of the most aggressive as well. I really like the variety of songs you're getting on this record. You get some punkier and faster and like more quick to the punch songs, such as I Can Tell You About Pain. Moments like Broken by a Light and Cannibals work this way as well, where it's just really, you know, like a one-two punch. The aggression is there, the heaviness is there, and, you know, it's more like short, sporadic, punkier type songs, you know, going into those hardcore punk type elements. Something that could be said about these couple of songs and, you know, is seen throughout the album, even in the slight differences in genre, um, or it's just the dirty, you know, evil sounding guitar riff. They're distorted, but they're also giving a lot of feedback at times. Just, you know, very like off the cuff, like about to lose control is the kind of feel I get from this album. Which you see the epitome of in a song like Merc and Morrow, which just sounds like it's busting at the seams. It starts with this murky kind of atmospheric tone before going into these percussive and just out of control moments. And when paired with the vocals from Jacob Bannon on here, which are very tortured sounding and you know screaming sounding, just make for these very explosive and angry moments. Again, like I said, the song just sounds like it's about to burst and it just makes for a very uneasy but also compelling feeling. And speaking of those sort of percussive moments, the drumming from Ben Collar, or Ben Kohler, sorry if I'm mispronouncing, um, is just really, you know, great on this album. He makes the drums work more so as, like, an instrument, if that makes sense. Um, I guess it doesn't. I mean, the drums are always an instrument, you know, they're always laying down the foundation of the song. But I feel like the way he, you know, makes them add to, like, the texture of the song, like, the with these rhythmic patterns and these explosive moments, uh, is just, like, fairly unique. And speaking of those sort of percussive moments, a song like Archibald Calm, uh, which has this sort of War Pigs type thing going on in the beginning there with the tss, 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 but adding some nice really cool rhythmic patterns in the beginning again it's very unique um, I think the drummer deserves a lot of credit on this record for adding these very cool rhythmic textures to the songs when they're not hitting you with these aggressive punkier songs or these you know dark explosive songs uh, there's also some you know fairly groove oriented tracks on here a big one being Trigger which is heavily you know led by the bass guitar here in a nice sort of driving, slower manner. Like I said, I love how the bass really carries this song and the guitar is sort of accented for most of it before ultimately getting into this very heavy, doomy kind of riff later on. Another groovier one being Under Duress, which, you know, just hits so hard and just very sludgy, very doomy sounding, but has those distorted, crazy guitars and, you know, just the, again, just the tortured vocals really adding to the intensity. Also like that some of these songs really take you on a bit of a journey. The title track, The Dusk and Us, being one of them. For most of it, it's sort of this atmospheric and slow-moving song, but eventually builds up to this great crescendo. The opening track, A Single Tear, does the same kind of thing, where there's a lot of highs and lows. The guitars are just flying throughout the song with these, you know, crazy patterns and crazy riffs. Um, I like that it sort of breaks down in the middle there and just eventually rises back up to this very uplifting sounding section. There's just a lot going on in this opening track. It's definitely a big standout on here for me. And the same thing can be said about Reptilian, another huge standout. A song that again takes you on a sort of journey as it starts kind of softly and it builds up. Uh, you have this atmospheric beginning followed by just a crushing riff. Um, this very slow prodding, doomy feel. Before again, you know, upping the ante even more with another fantastic riff that ultimately brings up the speed of the song. Uh, definitely some of the best guitar work on the, you know, first and last track that book in this album really well. You know, so overall, like I said, Converge coming out with possibly my favorite metal album of the year. I kind of have to double back and go through a lot of stuff from this year. 
Uh, and I know I'm sort of late on this review. It's been out for quite a bit, but I just felt like there's a lot to digest on this one. So I really took my time with it, and, you know, it just makes for a fantastic listen every time. And there's so much variety with the types of metal you're getting here. Uh, it just makes for an excellent album. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, let me know what you think of the album in the comments. If you haven't checked it out, definitely do that. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe, check out some other videos, all that good stuff. Uh, so thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time.